Okay, so we're here at the end of September and about a month ago I made some predictions about what was going to happen with the September market and it turns out that I've dug myself into a little bit of a hole because not everything that I said was going to happen actually did happen. Uh, one of the predictions that I had made was that uh, we were going to see an increase in buyer activity as well as seller activity in September. Um, you know, while we did see an uptick of new listings and we saw some new buyers come into the market, um, the market in general is remaining pretty, I'm calling it schizophrenic. Um, some houses are getting a lot of buyers on them and are selling for a lot of money, and, but we're still having other homes and some condos that are not uh, selling on their offer nights. Uh, or even in the case of the condos, they're sitting around for 30 or more days. Um, so not the level of activity that I had anticipated for September. I'm not going to try to speculate on why uh, we continue to have a stalled market in some categories, but we are still, like I said, seeing an increase uh, of new listings that are coming onto the market, but it is still uh, pretty choked off. There's not a lot to buy. The buyers that are out there seem to be attracted to the houses that are um, one of two assets. Either they need a complete renovation or they are uh, completely ready to go. So if you are in the seller market and you are looking to list your house, there's a couple of things that you're gonna wanna do. You're gonna wanna make sure that the property shows really, really cleanly. So even if you've got a house that needs a major renovation, getting in there, cleaning it right out, making sure it presents um, as best as it possibly can without dropping any unnecessary dollars into it. So we're finding that that sort of product is performing super well in this particular market. The other one is, you know, the all the way finished. So houses that have been recently renovated, um, but again, you can't take anything for granted. You gotta do everything uh, to get the house ready so that you can attract the buyers that are out there to your product. Uh, we have been seeing a number of houses that have been listed low that are missing their offer nights and are coming back out uh, the following day at the seller's expected price, which if you're a buyer in this market is really good news. The, um, the message that I would like our buyers to take away or any buyers that are out there is to start taking shots on goal, essentially. I mean, if there's a house that you like, don't assume that there are going to be a lot of offers on it because some houses just aren't getting the activity that the sellers are expecting and there is some opportunity there. We do have a few clients right now who have sort of thought that there was going to be a lot of activity and then it turns out house sold for less than what they thought it was going to with only one buyer and they've got a little bit of non-buyers remorse for that. Had they have just taken the shot on it, it would have been successful and they would have got to the finish line. Uh, no fuss, no muss, two offers, get the house for what you want. So that's my sort of state of the market right now. Um, it's a little bit in flux, depends on your house, it depends on where it is, as always. Um, but if you're a buyer, now's a really good time because there are still a lot of people who are either on the fence or they're predicting a lot of activity and it's not necessarily happening. If you've got any questions whatsoever about what's happening in the market um, or anything real estate related, always happy to take your calls emails, text messages.